We know well if a positive electric charge is placed next to a negative electric charge, they will attract each other. As well as, if the same electric charges are placed next to next, they will repel each other. If you watch clearly, the charged objects move, this is the very important point in electrostatic charge. If the charges can't be movable, they are called as electrostatic charge. Let's see how these types of charges are generated. These are generated by friction. It means when certain materials are rubbed together, electrons are moved from one object to the other object. The rubbing material is insulation materials, not conductor materials. For an example, let's rub the glass rod with silk cloth. At the processing of rubbing, the glass rod will leave their electrons and the cloth will gain the electrons. Therefore, glass rod become positive charged object. It is shown by color changing of blue to green. And the cloth will become negative charged object. It is shown by color changing of light blue to dark blue. And also, both objects will consist same magnitude of charges, but in opposite polarity. Because leaving electrons and gaining electrons are same. Here, one object become positive charge and other object become negative charge. This has happened according to this chart. This is called as triboelectric series. When any two objects rub, if the object nearer the top of the series, the object takes positive charge. And if the object nearer the bottom of the series, the object takes negative charge. We can ensure it from our example. Silk is near to bottom of the series. So, it becomes negative charged object. As well as, glass rod is near to top of the series. So, it becomes positive charge. Similarly, you can make any insulation object as charged object by friction. In between, we may have a doubt because only insulation materials are used. To clear it, let's move in two situations. First situation, let's rub two conductors, for an example, copper and iron. Then, iron will begin to leave electrons according to electron configuration. As soon as iron conductor leave electrons, it will have neutralized again. Because, at the moment iron leaving electrons, iron becomes positive charged object. Therefore, it need electron to neutralize. So, again gains the same electrons. So, leaving and gaining process are happened in iron. Therefore, making charged object of a conductor in this first situation is failure. The second situation. Let's rub a conductor with an insulation. We know conductor has free electrons, therefore, it will leave electrons as first step. As a result, it becomes positive charged object. But, before insulation gains the electrons, the conductor will gain again. Because conductors always have greater attraction than insulation. Therefore, insulation be an insulation object, not a charged object. So, here too, in conductor the moving electrons will neutralize again by itself. So, this second situation is also failure. Now, you can come to a small idea. Conductor never hold electrostatic charge in direct contact. I think, now you will have understood about electrostatic charge. Okay, let's see in next.